Hi guys, my name's Soup, and I love sim racing. Glory, green, green, green. Good number, number, number. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You've just won 26. Six. On your right. Still there. Like all new skills and hobbies, I started sim racing as an absolute noob, but I've learned a lot since I started. So, if you're just getting started or even thinking about getting started in sim racing, here are my top five tips just for you. Tip number one play iRacing. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, there is a monthly or annual fee. Yes, you have to buy cars and tracks if you want to race more than the rookie leagues, but iRacing is a great place to get into competitive races without knowing what you are doing so you can learn more. This is because of the I rating, which is a number that is assigned to you that goes up as you do better in races and goes down as you finish lower in races. And this number is used to put you into splits or different races in each of the official race series with other racers that are close to your skill level. It's the I rating number and system that keeps you from racing against someone like Max Verstappen on your very first race in I racing. Tip number two, you're going to be slow when you first start and that is okay. Focus on finishing the race. Don't quit if you crash or lose control of the car. Use those moments to practice starting the car back up, watching your relatives and mirrors to conduct a safe rejoin, pitting, taking fast repairs, and getting back into the race. Tip number three, if someone has a faster pace than you in a competitive online race, let them pass. There is no sense in defending against a racer that is beating your pants off and will just be riding your tail for the next three laps. Just keep racing and give them room if they are trying to get around you. Losing one spot to a faster driver is better than losing three because you wrecked defending. Tip number four, practice more than you race. You should be practicing a lot. Do test drives by yourself. Once you're comfortable with a track and consistent with your pace, do AI races to see what it's like racing on the track. Then finally, you'll be ready to do an official series race. Tip number five, I'm not saying they all are or will be, but just assume all incidents are your fault. Apologize for the heat in the moment and finish the race. Then review the incident after the race and try to determine what you could have done differently to avoid the incident. This will help you anticipate possible incidents and avoid them in the future. Please refrain from posting video after video on sim racing subreddits and Facebook groups trying to determine who is at fault for your incidents. And that's it. Five tips to help you at the start of your sim racing journey. If this video helped you out and you enjoyed it, I would appreciate you smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you on the track.